Has a lot of green on it. Might be lucky, might be an Indian hair. Got a little brush right here. I'm gonna go get some water. Check this out. It definitely has some markings on it. It's plated in silver. Looks like a, I don't know. Has an F on it with some mountains. There's a rim of it. So I'll bust it open and we can take a look at it. Oh, tax, tax token. token. Nice. Uh, that's Mississippi with a square or Louisiana? I think the triangle is Louisiana, Mississippi yeah. with a square. Still, it's 100 years old. What we got here? Dang. This will look good when it's cleaned up. You got the wood on it? Both sides. Just got one about where his foot is. A little buffalo nickel from 1934. And I'm guessing that that's another one. Unless it's an Indian head. I'm gonna clean it up and we'll take a look at it. That might be a wheat penny. I'm gonna clean it up and we'll take a look at it. It got dark on us, so I'm gonna go through a little wrap up that what we had. Uh, this is a pocket knife I found. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It has an F on it. Um, these are a few little bullets. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this is a muzzle-loaded bullet, but I think it's modern. Um, shotgun. Um, wheat penny. Two buffalo nickels. Uh, one, I was be able to make the date out, and it was uh, 1934. I got uh, three buttons, a key, and a little tiny ring. And you can barely make out a C on it. And these are my two accomplices today. These guys. Wave at the camera, guys. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> These are the little treasure hunters we had today with us. All right, guys. Let's See you next time.